is it old hat or experience? I just got to thinking of that after, of course, I'm done with my videos. It's amazing. I do kind of an impromptu video every day about an idiom, what something means. And I do that for a couple of reasons. Number one, it gives me something to do, something new to talk about with my Super Size Your Business folks all the time. And it keeps my brain open and exploring what things mean to me and how I can use that to grow and build and supersize my own business as well as helping other people to do the same thing for their businesses, whatever it is that they want in their business. So I do an idiom every day and today's was old hat. <clears throat> and I was thinking about old fashioned and what does it mean and you know, getting in a rut and all these negative things that are associated with old fashioned, out of date, not new um, or too familiar. And I forgot about well, if, you're, if something is old hat, that's your genius zone. That's something you're awesome at. That's something you're familiar with, but maybe that's not a bad thing, right? Everything can be taken and looked at from different sides and different angles. And the way we look at things changes what we actually look at. So I can say, all right, well, I've had 40 some years of experience in manufacturing. I've had 40 some years of experience in business ownership. I've had, you know, over a quarter century in corporate America. Is that now old hat for me? Or is that just experience? Now, some experiences are bad, some experiences are good, so I guess some things are too familiar in old hat and some things are, are new and exciting, how we can draw from our experience to make things that we're familiar with new and revitalized and to be curious about them again. I don't know, so I'd love to know what you think about the expression old hat um, and what it means to you. Get Up and Go Challenge today, day 11, was all about the P, which stands for progress in our soap. And I forgot to show my soap even after I dropped it on the ground and had to go finding it. <coughs> we use the soap framework to deal with changes and challenges in our life. And guess what? We all have them. We all have had them, thousands and thousands of them. And we're going to continue to have thousands of them going forward. So why not have an intentional success framework to guarantee that we end up better off after any challenge that we encounter than when we first entered it because guess what that's entirely up to us absolutely positively now did I always feel that way of course not lots of challenges used to tip me over and drive me crazy and I'd commiserate and feel like a victim and be mad and frustrated for days or maybe weeks or even sometimes years over something that had happened in the past I know not very mature but guess what we all do that I am still getting over some stuff that I know consciously I should have been over a long time ago, but there's some hurts that run so deep that they really, they, they mar us and they mark us and they impact us and the decisions and the risks and the things that we'll do going forward. Um, I'm human, I'm no exception to that. Uh, and it's when I see that I'm stopping myself from doing something because of a past hurt or a past experience that I now want to consider old hat I've been there, I've done that, I don't need to have that negative experience again, but how do I twist that and turn that and flip that over into working in my benefit and make that a positive experience? So get up and go, it's all about progress today. The P in soap is progress, and how as human beings, it is something we always have to have. We have to have and feel like we're making progress. I think depression and a lot of the negative emotions that we feel as human beings stem from the fact that we are in a situation where we feel like we're not making progress. Have you ever been in a job that you've been in too long? I. Um, have you ever been in a business that you think you've been in too long? I. And how does that feel? You get to a certain level and you just feel like you're stuck there and you're not making any progress. Anybody who's ever wanted or known they're ready for a promotion at their job or at work knows exactly what I'm talking about. You're stuck in the daily routine of a job that you've done so many times and you're so familiar with it that you don't feel like you're growing or expanding anymore. Or sometimes our relationships get like that, right? Our relationships, if we let them, get stale and stagnant and we feel like we're not making progress or growing anymore. Or sometimes we're not growing together. Um, that happened in my relationship. We were growing in different directions and of course we eventually ended up getting divorced because he was growing in one direction, I was growing in another, but we weren't growing together. The couples that, that stay and, and are successful are those that progress and grow together. So progress is a really interesting, and I really didn't think about it that much until, I mean, I've always been doing it, but I never thought about consciously progress and how am I making progress um, and breaking it down as part of a framework of how we actually move forward in our life. Um, but now as part of the soul process and the challenge that I'm doing, 
I'm doing that every day. And I'm not just walking people through it. I am personally doing it in one area or aspect of my life right along with them every time. So guess what? Not only do I help other people do it, but I get to make progress every day too. So it's like a win, 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 win for, for me and the people that participate and the world. So that's why I get excited about it. So progress for Get Up and Go Challenge Day 11. It's, it's a 40 day challenge. I was challenged to do a 40 day personal challenge. And if I'm gonna do a personal challenge, I'm gonna bring people right along with me because why not, right? Why not share what I'm learning and, and how I'm growing along the way and bring people with me so they can have the same experience if they so choose. So fun challenge today was day 156 and it was about being thankful and grateful for things and making sure that we're thanking people when they have an impact on our life. So that's always fun, right? It's always fun to think about the people that have had a positive impact on our life and make sure that we are showing them the love and the gratitude that we have in our hearts and the thankfulness for them impacting us in a way. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, granddaughter's gonna be here any minute, so I need to hustle, hustle, hustle and get moving and rolling through my day. Branding, I think I mentioned yesterday, I am in a branding group to narrow my focus. And again, just like everybody else, we need outside influence and outside expertise for certain aspects of our life and our businesses at different times of in different phases of development through our experiences. I've had I've had lots and lots of coaches in my in my lifetime. I've got a long life, right? Long career, long history of business ownership and lots and lots of different coaches who've impacted me. Maybe someday, if anybody's curious, I could do a, a segment on all of the different coaches and mentors I've had over my life and my career, because they've definitely made a huge impact on me. Have I always done what they said? And have I always done exactly what I was told to? No, absolutely positively not. Did I learn from the times I did and didn't do the things that they suggested? Yes, of course I did. Sometimes I just wasn't in the right position, mindset or you know whatever situation I was in, to actually do it and other times and I consciously said nope I'm not doing this I can't do this right now and other times it's been you know we've been running and having our coaches keep up with us so it's fun it's fun it's fun to have coaches and mentors that that help and lead us through and guide us through and help us to get over the little stumbling blocks that that might hold us up for weeks or even years but they're like, oh no, I, that happened to me, do this or try this. Might not work for you exactly like it worked for me, but it gives you a place to launch from, to start off from, to get ideas and keep moving forward and making progress. So working on that uh, and some other you know, part, parts of the challenge and my personal challenges is we're always continuing. We're all a work in progress, right? Uh, I am always working on some area or aspect of my life and, and consciously working on it. Sometimes it's easy to slip into the trap, especially, I don't know about y'all, but I think the energy of the world has gotten really bizarre. And some, some of us, it affects more than others. I find my family tends to be really sensitive toward all the stuff that's going on in the world. And, and, and not in a good way, it negatively impacts some of us. And so we have to steel ourselves against that and guard ourselves and really be proactive in terms of what we are doing and what we are listening to, who we are hanging around with and uh, what we're thinking about as we go through challenging times outside of us. And we just remind ourselves that guess what? Anything outside of us is outside of us. We get to choose how to respond to that. We cannot control it, but we can choose how we're gonna respond to it. And that's all we ever have, right? For personal power is how am I gonna respond to some of the things that other people and other institutions and other organizations do that impact me and what I'm doing, but I'm gonna figure out, I'm always gonna figure out. There's always a way to figure everything out, right? I have yet to find a problem that I haven't been able to find a solution to. Now, does it mean I haven't struggled with problems and solutions? Absolutely. But as soon as we go from problem focus to solution focus, guess what? Everything opens up to us. The, the world and the universe opens up with all the possibilities, not just I'm focusing on the problem, this is what's wrong in my life, this is what's wrong in my business, this is what's wrong with my relationship, this is what's wrong with my health, to, all right, I'm getting down to the core and the root cause of that. Here's the root cause of that. Now, what are my solutions to that root cause? Not what are my solutions to the symptoms? What are my solutions to the root cause? And one of these days I'll share stories with why I am so adamant about root cause solutions, not just band-aids to things. 
that's it. Have an absolutely fantastic, amazing day. If I can help you anyway, ask in the comments below. Say I might not know the answer, but I guarantee I can point you in the right direction of the person or the resource or the thing that can get you the answer that you need. Take care, and I will be with you tomorrow.